In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell access to your Discord server. Let's jump on my server so I can show you how I did it. Okay. So, this is my million dollar server idea. It's called Only Spacebar Fans. Welcome. And in it, I have two channels. I have a public channel where I'm going to post my conservative fans. And I have a private channel where I'm going to post my um, naughtiest fans. And this channel is the one that I'm going to sell access to. So when you join the server, you won't have access to this channel until you pay. And this all will happen automatically. So first we need to create the roles that are going to make this happen. So let's head out to server settings. And now we're going to click on roles on the left. Once we're in roles, we're going to create a new role. I'm going to name this role VIP and I'm going to put it yellow because why not? gonna save those changes and of course remember that you can name it whatever you want right so now we can close this out and we need to make sure that no one except the people with this role can see the private channel so let's right click on private and then click on edit and here on the left we want to click on permissions and permissions scroll down in advanced permissions it will probably show like that to you um you can see that everyone can see the channel because it's on the default permission so the first thing we need to do is make sure you have everyone selected and then click on the x and shave those changes and now you can click on the plus sign and we're going to add the vip role and here we're going to do the opposite we're going to click on the check mark and the shave again so now as you can see everyone has denied access only the vip can see this channel so in order for you to see this channel right now you need to have the vip role so now the discord part we're pretty much done so again if you give someone the vip role they will be able to see my uh, naughty fans so now let's go ahead and automate all of this so that they can access the private channel on purchase either with a credit card or with crypto crypto freaking crypto for this, we're going to be using WAP, which does an amazing job at it. You're going to head out to business.wap.com. Once you're on the website, let's go ahead and click sign up here in the upper right corner. You'll be prompted to sign up with Discord. Click here, sign up with Discord and authorize the bot. Click. And then here you will be asked to create a new company or project. You will click here on project type and select whether yours is a Discord server or an NFT collection. Then move down to which industry your server or project will be serving. If you're in retail, for example, selling access to a software for buying physical products like sneakers in online stores and stuff like that, or crypto or an NFT collection or a mix of all, like if you're involved in several industries, right? Of course, your specific case might not be here, which is fine. Just choose whichever is closest to your project. For some projects, the Twitter handle is very important, so you put it down here to show that you're the official one. However, if your project doesn't involve Twitter, it's not really mandatory, it's just recommended. And then the company name is going to be Only Face Bar Things and United States. Um, click Agree Terms and Create Company. Then you will be asked to link your company to Discord. So basically you're just adding a bot to do all the automation stuff for you on your Discord server. So we're gonna select our server, space, bar fans continue administrator that's fine authorize boom i am not a human so after all of that is done you will be directed back to the dashboard here you will be able to set up stripe if you want to charge normal currency like us dollars or euros with a credit card the setup stripe is pretty simple just click there and you will be taken to the stripe website where you will put bank account details social security and all of that which is personal so I am going to skip that. Let's move on to the last step, which is setting up your purchase link. So on the left, we're gonna click on my products and then we're gonna click on products. As you can see, this is emptier than my bank account. So let's go ahead and click create product. So before we start filling anything out, I would like for you to check here on the right where it says Discord role. And I want you to see if your role shows up there. If it doesn't show up there, then we need to make some changes on Discord. If the role you created does show up, then you're good. Go ahead and fill out stuff. But since it mine doesn't show, which I did it on purpose, let's go ahead and fix that up. So we're going to go back to our Discord server and we're going to click on server settings and then roles. And the problem is that we have a problem with role hierarchy. Such a fancy word. We need to move the WAP bat role above the role that we want it to manage. We need to put it on top. So we save the changes and now we can go back to this. We're going to refresh. And as you can see, we don't have the letters down here anymore. And I'm pretty sure that the role shows up. 
it does here it is vip so now that we have the role selected now we can move on and create some stuff so in this part we can do amazing customizations that we can probably go in detail um, in a future video but now we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna set up just a simple storefront uh, we're gonna do the title the name of your product what you're selling access to my private channel the description whether you want it to be a one-time thing like five dollars lifetime access or a renewal thing like every month uh, what currency you want to charge the price that you're going to charge of course turning on crypto if you want to use coinbase and an inventory inventory is if you want to only sell let's say 10 spots so you can turn that stock to 10 so once people buy those 10 then they will not be able to buy access to the private channel anymore so you can either turn that on or turn it off so let me just fill out this real quick for this one instead of a one-time payment i want it to be a renewal so the initial price will be um five dollars and the renewal price will be 450 because why not i want it to be charged monthly and let's turn on ethereum renewals also meaning that we can charge the same amount every month in ethereum a thing to note is that one-time payments in fiat currencies charge through stripe like dollars and euros etc and one-time payments in crypto charge through coinbase bitcoin and ethereum they go to your WAP balance directly and you can withdraw that balance to your bank account at any time. The coins are instantly converted to US dollars to the market price at the moment and added to your account's balance. But the Ethereum renewals are different though. If you set up a renewal with Ethereum, meaning that you charge them monthly, weekly or however you choose, the balance goes directly to your ERC20 wallet, which I'm gonna show you where you put it in in a minute. If you wanna peg the Ethereum to the price of your product, you need to turn on this option right here called peg Ethereum price to fiat prices. What this means is that, as you know, the market price of Ethereum goes up and down. What this does, it makes the Ethereum price match your dollar price. So if Ethereum gets cheaper, it charges more Ethereum, and if it gets more expensive, then it charges less. Again, it makes it match the dollar price. So the last thing that we're gonna do is changing the cancellation action. The default action is to kick them from my Discord server, but I don't want that. I want just to get that role removed from them. So I'm gonna choose this action right here. So for this basic setup, I think we're done. I'm just gonna save those changes. And we're basically done here. Of course, I haven't set up the Stripe thing, so I won't be able to charge credit cards, but I will still be able to use crypto. So now we can start sharing our checkout link to sell access to our Discord server. I'm gonna click on copy checkout link and just go on Discord, cause why not? I can definitely just paste it on the browser directly, but why not again? So we can modify all of this, the title of this, maybe include a little video or a photo as well, but that's probably gonna be for another video. So let's just go ahead and click on this checkout link. And as you can, there we go, <laughs> voila. It looks a little ugly, but we can totally do some customizations here and there. So if you wanna log in with Discord, just click and continue with Discord. So as you can see here, you can add a credit card to pay if you have Stripe set up, which I don't. And crypto, I'm gonna pay this with crypto using Coinbase. As you can see here, you can pay with either one of these cryptocurrencies. So if you want to add the wallet address, your Ethereum will be sent to. And of course, make all of this look pretty. We can go back to the dashboard. Let's see, where's the dashboard? Right here. And click on settings here on the left. On the checkout tab right here, you can add your Ethereum address. And on the branding tab, you can add a logo as well for the checkout page right here. And of course, like there are a million other settings, like this is so customizable. So leave me in the comments below if there are any settings that you would like me to cover, or if you have any issues, you can contact them directly. They have a Discord server here on the left. You can click here on join our Discord and uh, you will be able to get some support from them directly on their Discord server. And uh, yeah, I wish you a lot of luck with your server and your businesses. Like always, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe up there.